Anya Tish Gallery would like to present our new in-gallery exhibition, Cine Sole Cilio, which translates from Latin, Without the sun, I fall silent. Oscar Wilde's saying, nature imitates art, is a truism, for art is one of the ways through which human beings penetrate nature. This exhibition, featuring a collection of works by the gallery artists, illustrates the immense influence nature has on the inspiration of the artist and enables the viewer to experience each artist's unique aesthetic involvement with nature. Ranging from intricate video art through dynamic abstractions to the fine lines of geometric reveries, this mix of artists eulogizes the importance of preserving the magnificence of the natural world. Hello everybody, my name is Adela Anda and I'm one of the artists represented by the Fish Gallery and I'm in the show during the summer called Without the Sun, I Fall Silent. My artwork in the gallery has been inspired by my trip to Iceland at the end of 2018. Uh, the title of the show it is very relevant to my work as I experienced the most extreme weather and also the strangest uh, night and daytime phenomenon because during my time in Iceland I had 20 hours of nighttime and four hours of daytime. I was really inspired by it. I still think it's the most magical place you can visit. I came back with a book called The Sorcerer's Creed, believing in all the magical creatures there, and I know why, but that's the story for another uh, show or, or, or discussion. And I just want to say that my artwork in the gallery has been uh, directly inspired by my uh, visit inside the biggest freestanding glacier in the world, which is called Vagna Jokul, and it was an amazing experience seeing the ice and the light coming through and knowing the problems with our environment and the melting glaciers. Self described as a Baroque minimalist, Houston based artist H.J. Bott creates systemic works based on his displacement of volume concept that was developed almost 50 years ago. Through wire curvaceous sculptures and etched canvases, Bott offers compositions filled with provocatively articulated color forms. Although geometrically abstract, his work has subliminal undertones that go beyond the surface like questioning humanity's disregard for the drastically changing ecology of the earth. Highly intuitive, Bott has always been ahead of his time, sketching and melding formulas, challenging the aesthetic foundations of art, and influencing future generations. Spanning more than six decades, Bott's avoir is the result of a brilliant mind coupled with his insatiable desire to create. Polish painter Paweł Dziekiewicz considers his large-scale paintings to be in the realm of abstract realism because according to him they are related to the nature of man, to his inner rhythm and experiences. Dukiewicz's sublimated approach to painting results in an expansive meditative body of work. Layers of beeswax and paint saturate each canvas to create ethereal nuances of tone. Color range is of utmost importance to Dukiewicz as it carries with it the content. Vibrant planes of vermilion, cerulean, and amber create a visual field that eclipses geometric flatness, inducing a luminous atmosphere that teeters on the edge of optical perception. The cascading chromatic spectrums and drifting tonalities seem both motionless and radiating, emitting a sense of glowing transparency and the rich warmth of captured light. My work is about the organic and geometric in nature. In my recent body of work, I created 3D monoprints. They are a hybrid between a print and a sculpture, and as you move around them, they create an optical illusion of movement. I constantly experiment with new materials so I can express the constant changes in nature and life. Hi, this is Gal. Uh, I have two paintings in this group show. 
Uh, this exhibition is about uh, nature and how it inspires and interacts with our works. To me, I have always interested in the definition of nature in the modern scenario and try to use my own honest voice to explain nature. As someone grew up in the evolution of digital graphics and the internet, I think the digital recreation of nature always makes a different type of excitement from me personally being in the nature, which I rarely did because that's just how I grew up. Nature has always been a source of inspiration for artists. Of course, it has great influence on my paintings. Aquaflora presents my ideas on involvement with nature. I have blue-green colors and shades of water and greenery. Aquaflora. I use patterns, unexpected surfaces, bright colors and layers of hues in my abstract compositions. Nature always moves and I like movement and dynamic compositions in paintings. You notice that the word Earth hosts art in the center? We are instruments of awareness and agents of sustainable change. My pieces are the product of a collaborative effort between creative talents. Groups of ballerinas take the form of small creatures in a multicolored game of perspective and scale that ennobles the existence of tiny beings. Performers intertwine to form letters to communicate messages in collective action. Customized dancers dressed as bees, butterflies and planktons communicate the bee aware movement to the visitors. The concept of my new series presented on the video planet is inspired by the five element theory. The doctrine of the five phases describes two cycles, the generating or creative and the overcoming or destructive cycle. Planet Earth is a complex organism and if we humans interfere with it, the elements get out of balance and the cycles become destructive.